darlings, it's ALB in Whisperland here. Today we're going to be doing a manicure video. I realized recently that it's been since October since we did a manicure video, which that's a long time ago. <laughs> it really is. So I thought it would be so fun to do one for today's video especially because I've had a really good idea for one and I thought it would be fun to do it together. Surprisingly, you don't need too many colors for today's. We're going to need um, a base color. I'm going to be using Kind of Wonderful from Madame Glam, which is this lovely sort of lilac purple. I also have a white Polish. This is Perfect White from Madame Glam. I've got this kind of nude, um, it's called Pink Nude from Orly Gel FX. It's a pretty kind of sheer pinkish color. And then I also have these polishes from Madame Glam, which are top and base. And then I have this little tiny jar of yellow. I don't have a really good yellow gel polish that I like yet. I'm still on the hunt for it. So I'm going to be using that today. I wanted to do something super like springy to kind of get my heart in the springtime season. We had a really lovely week last week that looked, it really seemed like spring was coming, but it's snowing again now. <laughs> you know what they say about March. So, yeah, I need to get in the mood of spring, and I'm hoping that by doing, like, a really spring sort of manicure, I'll be welcoming spring into my heart. Um, I always mention this with my gel manicure videos, but I'm going to mention it again. If you are interested in learning how to do gel manicures, I have a super, super comprehensive video up on my channel here. It's in an ASMR format as well on how to do gel manicures on yourself at home. So the link for that will be in the description as always. And that one is more in depth than this one's going to be. So let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and done just the base gel on all my nails. Like I said, I used this Madame Glam base gel. I am almost out of this one. It's amazing. I so rarely use an entire bottle of anything nail related, except for maybe nail polish remover, but yeah. I'm going to have to get a new one of these soon. I've used all of it, basically. Alright, so here's kind of my game plan. I'm going to do this one purple, and this one purple, and my thumb purple with this one right here. And I'm going to do like that pinky nude color on both my ring finger and my pointer finger. So I'll start with the purple, and we'll just do, like, all of each color at the same time. It's very thick polish. I keep having to double check that I know what I'm doing, because even though I just told you, like, this one's purple and this one's nude, when you're doing it, you feel like you're forgetting a little bit. Just so you all know, because I know you guys like to know a little behind the scenes. Dawn, for some reason tonight, as I was filming this video, like really needed attention. And she kept kind of meandering around what I was doing with my setup here. And she kept doing the most like pathetic sort of Meow, it's kind of like a, I mean, I feel like she's saying mama, but 
I eventually figured out that she just really needed attention. And so, I went and grabbed... There's a little string. Isn't that the worst when there's a little string in the polish? Better to catch it before you set it. But anyway, I went and grabbed, like, um, a little footstool. And I put it right next to my desk right here. And she climbed right on top of it and fell asleep. So, Dawn is right next to me today. <laughs> she really wanted to be a part of this. I don't know why. But she's here. Special guest. <laughs> she's been very needy recently. They go through phases. Any pet owner will tell you. Like, there will just be days where... Each of my girls will just need a lot of attention and a lot of love. And then, right after that, they'll kind of be like, wanting to do their own thing again. I guess people are like that too. I know I am. Some days I'm like, I need to be social. I want to see my friends. And then, other days I'm like, I need to be alone. I love to be alone sometimes. It's good to catch up with me. <laughs> but you know, a lot of people need to recharge. That time alone is precious. And some people, they recharge by hanging out with friends. So, got those two. Nice and purple. I'm gonna go ahead and set these. Right here with my lamp. Okay, now the thumb. You might notice that my nails are pretty short right now. It's half intentional, half not intentional. It's nice for me to do short nails every once in a while, but the reason was with this one, I recently got my nails done in a salon and the manicurist filed my nails down like on top right here where I'm polishing to prepare them for the gel a little bit more than I like, let's say. Um, I don't usually get my nails done by other people, so this was kind of a unique situation for me, and mm, I think I'm very protective of my nails. But, you know, maybe for good reason, because when I took off the gel polish from the salon, my nails felt very weak. Much weaker than usual. Because for myself, when I do gel polish, I never file my nails down in that way. I never sand them to prepare them for the gel, so yeah, I think it was just a little different for me, and I wasn't used to that. So I'm trying to give them a little bit of a break to grow back nice and strong because they just feel kind of weak right now. And I know in a couple months they'll be back to normal. All right, I'll set this one, and that looks good, but I think I'm going to do a second coat on all the purple. <laughs> I just think it needs it. I mentioned this in my, like, full gel tutorial, of course, but I always like to keep a paper towel under my hand for a lot of reasons. I mean, the big one can be that I sometimes make a little bit of a mess. Not always. I wouldn't even say often, but sometimes, you know. The other reason, though, is that if you make a little mistake on your hand, paper towels are right there. You can just use the orange stick and literally just fix it right up. No troubles bubbles. And 
And yeah, I, I just think better to plan for mistakes, you know, rather than get caught by surprise. What's the scout's motto, like always prepared or something? I was not in scouts, so I don't know. I was not an outdoorsy sort of kid. But you probably put that together based on everything about me. <laughs> I was inside drawing pictures of anime and neopets. So, very important work. I always try to get it like really close right up to the cuticle, but obviously you don't want to get any on your cuticle because then it will be stuck there. That's the thing about gel polish. Once you set it in the light, it's there, you know? I made a little mistake right here. See, and I can just wipe it right off on the paper towel. It's so convenient. I also keep nail polish remover very close by, which is helpful too. Nice and shiny. Alright, I'm going to set these two, and then I'll probably do the thumb. Those other ones set, so now we're going to do the thumb. And hopefully this one only needs one more coat. We'll see though. I find that with thumbs sometimes because they have like a bigger surface area. Mm. Sometimes you have to do them twice. It can be a bother, but you always want your thumb to look nice, right? I always try to make a point before I'm about to do my nails and really like shape my nails the way I want but then I wash them really well with soap and water and while my hands are in the warm water I'll push my cuticles back a little bit I won't hurt them or anything but it just makes it so much easier when you're painting your nails if your cuticles are pushed back properly and if you do it when your hands are wet it's especially good if you've been like soaking your hands in water but it's so much easier I want to get it right up to the cuticle but not touching that way the manicure will last a long time Got a little on my cuticle. I think this only needs this coat though. I'm gonna put it under the light. Okay, I just pulled my thumb out of the light and I think it looks fine. I don't think it needs another coat. Yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the nude color on these two fingers and I'm not really sure in this moment how many coats I'm gonna do. I might only do one, we'll see, because I kind of want this to have a sort of sheer look to it. I don't know. You know me, I always change my mind later. Very fun like that. <laughs> this polish I actually like super love. This one is my kind of like no nail polish polish, if that makes sense. Like, if I were in a situation where I had to have natural looking nails, this is what I would wear. Because it doesn't look like you're wearing much, but your nails kind of feel protected. I find when I don't have, like, gel polish on my hands, sometimes they can feel a little bit weak or... Like, they can't grow as long. So, when I want to look 
like I don't really have any polish on. I'll wear this. There we go. I probably won't throw a second coat on this. Like I said, I want it to look really sheer. So, I'm going to put this in the light. Okay, so, now that we've got the base colors on all of our nails, the purple and the nude, we're going to do the fun part. <laughs> well, the part that I think is the most fun anyway, which is the details. So, I've got some nail art brushes here. These are not expensive brushes. These are like eBay nail art brushes, like a dollar... <laughs> This kind of thing, you don't need to use expensive stuff. The not expensive stuff is plenty fine. Especially because you're going to use nail polish with it, right? Well, that's what I think anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to need the white and we're going to need the yellow. We'll start with the white though. What I like to do is take the polish and wipe as much off the brush as you can. Very carefully, just get as much off of here as possible. And then I'm just going to set the brush kind of aside. And also I'm going to be careful that I don't accidentally get it in the path of the, the lamp, the UV lamp, because all of these bristles will set completely solid like this. I've seen it happen. So, we're going to be careful not to do that. And we're going to start with our design. Another tip that I will give you is I like to have a tiny little bowl. You can tell that I use this for nail art because it's got all kinds of like messy polish stuff in it, but that's what it's for. So, I'm going to pour a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of nail polish remover in here. And I have a brush at the ready. This is just in case I get any um, nail design stuff on my cuticles. I can just dip my brush in and wipe it right away. So I just keep that to the side. Today we are going to be doing daisies. I really love the way um, it looks to do designs on a nude nail. I think it looks really cute. So that's what I'm going to do. For daisies, I recommend to start with kind of almost a like star or a cross kind of shape to start. Like this. I'm just using a little bit at a time. Not too much. See, I've already gotten some on my cuticle, but that's no worries. Because we will clean all of that up before we put it in the lamp. I'll make the petals a little bit thicker now. And I'm gonna fill those gaps in with more petals too. I'm really into daisies right now as a design because, well, A, it's super springy and cute. But also, it's a little bit 60s, which is kind of fun. If you're like me and you like to do retro stuff. Let's bring that up like that. And I'll do another one right down here. In the same kind of effect. Start with that kind of star or cross shape. Like this. 
you don't want to use like too much polish but you do want the white to be like quite opaque I try to make the petals even but if they're not perfect don't don't stress about it you have to figure like no one's gonna probably look at your nails too close up so all right I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my cuticle first with the orange stick just doing what I can and then Clean this up right here. There we go. Now I also want to do a couple little cute dots. So I have a dotting tool right here. Dip it in carefully. Like this. Again, you don't want to have too much on here. Otherwise, it makes a big mess, but... The dots are cute. I love this dotting tool, I'll tell you. It's just the best. Again, I this was a very cheap tool. You can get these for not too much money at all. Of course, you can always use, like, a toothpick or something else. You don't need a fancy tool. Or an unfancy tool in my case, but you know what I mean. You don't need anything like that. You can do it your way. Now I'm going to, before I mess it up, I'm going to set this in the lamp before I continue on to the second nail. And now I'll do the other finger. I actually think I'm going to try something a little bit different. I felt like I had a lot of really good control with the dotting tool. So I'm gonna try try to draw the daisies with the dotting tool. It might not work that great, I'm not sure. But I feel like it's worth a try. Everything's worth a try, I think. see what I actually end up thinking about it. So like I said, always start with that sort of X shape. The reason I do this is so that all of your petals are evenly placed. You don't have to do this, but like it kind of sets up your spacing to look good in terms of the petals. That's how I would do it if I were going to draw it. So that's how I do it when I'm doing a manicure. Petals, petals, petals. If you look, there's so much daisy motif in 60s and 70s. Um, decor. It's very popular. And also in the 90s, sunflowers were really, really big. I remember I had so, so much sunflower stuff for some reason at that time. So if you like 90s kind of looks, you could do sunflowers instead of daisies. And one more daisy up here. You can tell I'm not really doing like the full flower. I'm kind of having it cut off on one angle. I find that with nail art, it looks cooler if you don't center the design. Like if you make it look like it's wallpaper that's kind of continuing over your, the shape of your nail, I find that that looks the coolest. That's the kind of look I like the best. Okay, and let's do a couple dots on this one too. Like that. Cute. 
Okay, let's tidy this up a little bit. I did get some on the cuticle, but that's easily fixed. That's why we keep our trusty orange stick close by. All right, I'll put this under the lamp. Now, you could totally leave this design um, without really doing anything else to like the purple nails, but I'm not gonna not do anything. <laughs> Let me try that again. I am going to do something because I'm a little bit excessive and I like things that are kind of busy and fun and over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do polka dots on the other nails. Now a tip for doing polka dots, try to keep them all the same size and try to start kind of in a line if you can. Like this. Try to evenly space. It's, it's difficult, but you know, do your best. And then, once you've done one line, start another line between those polka dots. So I'm going to put this next polka dot, hopefully you can see it quite well. This next polka dot I'm going to put right here. You could see sort of in between that space where those other two polka dots are. And then this next one is going to be between that space and so on. Make sure you don't have too much on your little dipper. I'll leave a big old polka dot. I'm gonna get a little more on my tool. I really love polka dot nails. I do them all the time. I had polka dot nails in the last video I did. I don't know why they're just so easy to do and honestly they always look really impressive like I get lots of compliments when I have polka dot nails and it's so easy especially like if you practice a lot you'll get good at it then you can just do it in like no time you know aren't perfect, but they're fun. I get better at them every time I do them, and clearly I need to do them more because these still aren't perfect, perfect, but, you know, we do our best. And just continue off the edge. I like to do, you know, if it's just a half a polka dot or whatever, to give the look that the design goes on off the edges of your nail. That it doesn't just end, you know. Yay, polka dots! Now I'm gonna fix up some of these cuticle marks. There we go, not too bad. And I'll start on the next pinky. Not a whole lot of room for dots on that nail, huh? There's a little fuzzy. There we go. Okay. One dot. Two dots. Three dots. Four dots in that row. A little more pop. One more dot on here, two, three. Yeah, I can't fit very many on the pinky. I'll do my best though. One, two, three. And 
really do some off the edge right here. Maybe one more. Can I fit one more? Need a little more ball. Yeah, one more. Good. Okay, let me clean this one up. I got quite a bit on the cuticle there. Quite a bit. All right. Fun, huh? I'm going to put these under the light, and then we'll come back and do the thumb. All right, now time to do the thumb our thumb polka dots and there is a lot of polka dot real estate to be had on the thumb, I'll tell ya we are going to be able to do quite a few I'm going to start by doing a straight-ish line right down the middle one, two three Or that does not have enough. Need a little more polish here. Four. Five. <laughs> I already got some on my cuticle. That's okay though. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now you don't have to keep yours, your polka dots as tightly spaced as mine. They can be smaller, further apart, you name it. However you like it to look. Follow your heart, that's what I say. <laughs> you know that by now. I love to do tutorials like this, but you always need to know you should do whatever you want with your nails. If you use mine as just an idea, a starting off point, and then you go from there, or if you copy it exactly, it's all good. Do what makes you happy. Nail art is such a... Um, like a tool for self-expression. And my only goal is that I can encourage you to explore that for yourself if you want to. Also, maybe that you find the video relaxing. That's my other goal. <laughs> Just trying to get some even polka dotting here. There we go. Not too shabby. Let me see if I need to clean anything up. Yeah, in here. Just along there. Nice. Alright, into the lamp you go, Thumb. Be brave. Do your best. And now, the most fun part of all, in my opinion. I'm going to use some of this yellow. Now, I would prefer to use a more banana yellow, but like I said, this is the only yellow that I have right now. So we'll make do, won't we? I'm going to do a little yellow dot right in the middle of our daisy. And this polish is a little thicker, so you kind of have to play with it a bit to get it 
get it where you want. And this daisy over here needs a middle too. And these ones. You can do the middle as big or small as you want. I try to make it um, a circle if possible, but doesn't have to be perfect. I find that the polka dot tool doesn't work too well with this polish, so that's why I'm not using it, in case you were wondering. One day when I have a different yellow. So those are the middles of the daisies. I'm gonna throw this under the light, place it under the light for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do our top coat. Time for top gel to wrap it all up and keep our manicure long lasting and beautiful. This part's so satisfying because, especially with polka dots, sometimes the polka dots like are sticking up a bit, they're a bit bumpy. Top coat just kind of smooths it all out and makes it one uniform design, which is very satisfying. And where's my orange stick? Here we go. Just to make sure, because it's hard to tell with a top coat, you can accidentally get some on your cuticle and not even notice because it's clear, but you don't want it to set on your cuticle. Now I'll do these ones and tuck these lazy daisies in for the night. Make them nice and safe under the top coat. You're safe now, little daisies. You can put your little daisy minds at ease. There's that one, and now a polka dot one. Make sure to get all these polka dots covered up. <laughs> Sometimes uh, polka dots make me think of that scene in the Cat in the Hat movie where they get like a cupcake batter on the mom's dress and it's like this really cute polka dot dress. So many outfits in that movie that I really want. Especially the polka dot dress. I think it was polka dot, if I'm remembering correctly. I feel like that's right. If not, she definitely has a polka dot dress at some point in that movie that I remember being very jealous of. And the pinky, the last one. Here we go, time for the lamp. Well, my friends, the last thing we always have to do is go over everything with some nail polish remover. So, this is just to clean everything up, make it nice, remove any of the excess gel, stickiness always get the tips there too just in case they didn't get hit by the lamp and the thumb 
Can't forget the thumb. And there we go. That's our finished nail design. I hope that you all liked this and that it was fun to watch and maybe it will inspire you to do something fun and springy for your nails coming up. I hope you all have a really good week and that you get a chance to do something fun that you're looking forward to. Myself, I'm kind of hoping to go to the antique market later in the week, so maybe I'll find some goodies there. <laughs> I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.